Yo, what is up, guys? It's Dawson. I'm back again with another video. Today, I'm going to be doing what's inside my baseball bags. I have two bags and a catcher, so I have a catching bag. And then I have one team bag, so let's get on with it. So first, um, I made my first video about this glove, how to break it in. Um, it's a really nice glove. Zuno. Oil. Right there. Flare it. Always flare. Um, it's 11 three quarters, the throwback leather, the 55 S2, the premium players, so uh, part of that series. Uh, I have a softball and two baseballs. Sometimes I have more. I, I haven't checked my bag in a while. We have our first practice tomorrow with my new club. That's why I have blue stuff and red stuff, but I was on a blue and white team, blue, white, and black, and now I'm on it red, white, and black. It's called CBC. I was on a team called JCV Baseball, Jonathan Creek, Creek All-Stars. Um, next we have my C-flat. I mean, not my C-flat, my Evo shoe. I got hit a couple times in the elbow. And I really do like these. No. It really protects you. Forms your arm, which is really nice. Um, I got my Franklin batting gloves. Really nice. I have maroon cheese. But hang on. Let me see if I can get them. Yeah, I had maroon cheese. But I had these things for about like a month. And there's holes and they're all crusty. And I don't even slide with these. Like when when I get to first base or second base or third base, wherever I get to, I always go to the coach and give them to them because, you know, I like to see my batting gloves. And these, whole, whole, just crusty. And I only had them for about a month. I had some blue and white ones to match my team, but I left those in Cooperstown for one of my friends that I met. Well, one of the guys that I met there, and me and him became really good friends, so I gave him my gloves. Um, so, yeah, I just threw these away. Or, I can, you know, I'm probably going to sell them. I'm not going to throw them away. I'm probably just going to sell them for like 10, 20 bucks. Yep, they still got the pine tar smell. Perfect. Next, uh, my sunglasses. These are not Oakley's. I'm going to get Oakley's. Um, these are Revo's, the prescription. Because I wear glasses. Um, they're polarized too, so I can use these when I go fishing or something with my friends. Or, yeah. They're really nice. But I'm going to get hopefully some Oakley's for Christmas, maybe. Um, I have my helmet. It's a Jolinton Creek All Stars, a C flap. Um, I got hit a lot, at least five times last year in the face, uh, twice in the same at bat. I went to go like do that. And I'm like trying to check my swing, comes and hit me, and then the very next pitch I get hit. Um, but the thing about this helmet is, I mean, yeah, the stickers come off. But I mean, Dean Marie makes really good stuff, and um, I definitely recommend them. C flap. If you get, if you're getting hit a couple times in the face, get a C flap. This is my last year back. Um, Vulcan grip, 31 inch drop eight hit three home runs in the in one tournament, two in the same day. Really nice. Our team actually won that one. We ended up hitting like in total, I think everyone hit like a total of 20 home runs, 17, something like that. This year, um, I picked up a Marucci Cat 7. Really, really nice bet. Connect. I left my grip thick, so I put it on top of that it's not done yet we're gonna get some black lizard skin i love lizard skin a lot of people are going to vulcan now i mean vulcan's good i put this on this bat but i still like lizard skin more and yeah so it's a 32 drop three bb core
some more baseballs. Um, this is Cooperstown ball, All Star Village, and then two game balls, probably home run balls. Some seeds, bacon seeds. Oh my, I love these so much. But these things, Taco Supreme. Oh my, those things are really good too. And then ranch really good too i love those uh pair of uh, one sock Randy. my cup uh and a bunch of sun flashies let's check these other compartments and my bad game marine of course we got sponsored by them last year Sting pad, I catch. So, you know, I'll put it on my middle finger. Like when there's like a really fast guy throwing, and sometimes I like I have to frame it because like if it's on the borderline, like out here, I gotta catch in the palm so I can kind of bring it in. Um, pitch counter, and you know, umpire thing. Ball strikes, outs, innings, that thing. Pro hitter. Oh, I, these things are really good. I got this this year, and my bat speed has increased, crazy amount. I'm swinging like a, I'm swinging a drop through like a drop ten. Um. Two things of eye black. That's all that in that pocket. I have nothing in my cleat compartment. I used to have my cleat compartment, but now I just keep them in my cousin's bag. So I'm going to put this in, and then I'm going to get the uh, catcher's bag ready. Or, well, not ready, because, you know, I'm just showing everything I have in my bag. So um, while I'm here, you know, you should go follow me on my Instagram, uh, DawsonV42. Wait, 904, DawsonV underscore 42. You guys should go ahead and give me a follow. I'll follow you back, probably. I've been playing baseball since I was three years old. I've been catching since I was three years old, and I've never looked back. Catching is amazing. It really is. And baseball is, like, so unique, and people say it's not a sport, and all you do is run. Hit a ball and throw. Trust me. If you've never tried baseball, you have to try it. You'll love it. Alright, that's that bag. Now it's good to catch your bag. So, I'm sponsored by Boomba, so I have Boomba gear, but this year I'm thinking about maybe getting Boomba and All-Star gear, but I don't know yet. Boomba does make really good gear, I definitely know. Alright, so starting off, I have my Cooperstown warm-up jacket for when it's cold, like right now it's in December. Cooperstown, really good jacket. Thank you. Um, got my pitching mitt. I have a lot of Mizuno mitts. Well, really all my gloves are Mizuno, except for one, maybe two. That's because my cousin, he's in the MLB and he's sponsored by Mizuno. So I get a lot of my gloves from them. His name is Jeff Mathis. He, last year in 2017, no, 2018, he was number one in catching for blocking and framing in lowest ERA. I mean, I needed something quick for pitching that, you know, covers the ball really good. Nice glove. Um, next, we got my first base mitt. Another Mizuno. I mean, I don't use this one a lot because I don't play first a lot, but when I do, I'm ready because I used to play first a lot. As my secondary, catcher's always been my primary. 
But um, this year, I went to play third base. So that's now my secondary position. My Next is my backup glove. Is my Wilson A2000 um, DW5, Dave Wright's glove. 12 inches. Uh, flared. No. It's not a very good flare, but, you know, this is my first glove. Like, I flared. Long laces. Pro stock leather, you know. Wilson A2000. It's old. Honestly, I think I'm not selling this. I mean, I I can go three in the pink on this, and it's it's really it's broken in really good. Like, and then even two in the pink. It's broken in really good. So, if you want this glove, um, just DM me on Instagram. Again, nine zero four dot Dawson V underscore forty two, and yeah. We'll talk, and I use this for outfield, because, I mean, it's got outfield lacing, but it's a third base mat, so, I mean, I use it for both sometimes, if, I used to use it for third base, but now, this is my catching mat, again, Mizuno, really good glove, I've had this thing for four years, and it hasn't broken on me, I mean, yeah, I box it sometimes, but I'm really a lot more open because that gives me a lot more room to catch and frame, which that is very important for me. And it gives me a bigger thing to block. And this is a this is a 33 and fit and a half inches pro screw. I don't think you can get these gloves anymore. This is an old glove. I mean, I haven't seen them on their website. And I mean, on these you can go two in the pink, but it's just. For catching mitts, I don't do two in the pink. I go one in the pink and one each finger. I mean, yeah, I still have room to move my glove around. Right. Uh, again, this is last year's gear. Uh, blue, black, and white. Boomba. Chest piece. Really nice. Blue, black, and blue and black helmet. I use this thing a lot. I've got so many freaking foul balls to this. Blocks. Let's go. This, this gear is really good, so. It's held up for a very long time. Oh, my legs. Blue, black, and white. You know. Nothing in that compartment. Uh, let's see if there's anything in these bat holders. Yep. I got my wood bat in here for wood bat tournaments, or if I'm just, you know, like training. Rawlings, Hard Ash, Marucci, uh, Pine Tar, and Tiger Stick. I got some there, it's, but it's a 32 inch drop three. Really good, really good bat. I mean, it's cheap, but it's a very good bat. I mean, there's a lot of pop. I'm getting a custom Marucci, and this will, you know, just be. I like my one hand hitting and stuff like that. Or I probably might sell it or something. But it's a very good bat. For what its price is, it's only, I think, 50 bucks. Really cheap. And really good pop. I mean, it sounds amazing off the bat. Just everything about this bat is really good. I mean, if you want a budget bat, that's a good bat. Definitely get the Rawlings Hard Ash. I've used that thing for since fifth grade, and I'm in seventh going into eighth, almost out of seventh. Grade. So I, so again, I play for Fruit Cove Middle School baseball. Um, we have we've had, I think four, maybe three years undefeated. I really don't remember, but we're a very good ball, middle school ball team. And I mean, yeah. It's an amazing team. The coaches are amazing. Rick Wilkins, his dad, he was the catcher for the Chicago Cubs, Rick Wilkins. His dad is our coach. And then Rick Wilkins is my catching coach. All right. So let's go to the back of the car right here. Here. I have my cleats. Standard, just, you know, New Balance spikes. Red bottoms. I'm going to get some new ones or some... Probably, I'm gonna get, I think I'm gonna get two pairs of cleats 
I'm gonna get one for home, one for the road, and one for like special days. Um, I got an extra cup, and then I got a donut. I don't, I haven't, I don't really use donuts a lot. I haven't used one in a long time. But yeah, I think that's it. I mean, I can show you my training bags. What I use a lot. I use a lot when I'm here. I have two training bats. Most of them are Easton's. Um, for the past couple years, we have been sponsored by Easton, but this last year we made the switch to DeMarini. So this is the Easton Mako Beast. Not the Mako Beast, just the original. 30 inches, man. This was my first home run bat. 30 inches. Drop 11. Oh, my. That's, oh, my gosh. That is... So I use this for one hand. You know? And then, in the beginning, you know, just warming up, I take this and get some hacks. Practice with bunting with this. I don't bunt. Who bunts? Like... This, okay, this is a very special bat. It's a, it's a USA bat. But honestly, I would use this for a uh, travel game. This bat, when it's broken in, it's the best. It's the best USA bat you can find, hands down. Like, it sounds like, you know, it sounds like the Mako. Like, but a deeper, a deeper noise. Like, it's a very, very good bat. Like, I mean, it's kind of expensive, but it's very good for what it is. I mean, so we were in the state tournament last year. We we only played six innings. We beat the odds to win the state championship uh, for the Florida. So the first game, we beat, we beat the three-time state champions in the ninth inning, which we went to extra innings. And then in the championship game, we went to eight innings. My boy Dylan McLeod steps up with this bat, this exact bat. Gets a fastball right down the middle. Just hits that thing 300. Like, no joke. This And we win the state championship. We have rings. I mean, I can show you guys like all my trophies, my rings. But, yeah, this is a definitely very good bat. I mean, I recommend this for anyone. Even if, like, because, like, the the Marucci and the Demarinis are pretty expensive. This thing's a little bit less, and honestly, if you want a good budget bat, get this. The Ghost X Easton. This was uh, we had to have drop tens for the um, what is it called? The state tournament. So that's why this is a drop ten. Man, this bat is amazing. So I'm gonna go zip this stuff up and then let's then I'll be here. And the thing again about Boomba is it gives you the fr it gives you a free bag with the gear. And that's very spacious. You can probably put everything, in. but I mean, for me, I kind of like to have my stuff like different, like kind of. I want my infield and hitting and other stuff like in one bag and my catching one. All right, so thank you guys for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe and comment. Follow me on Instagram again, nine to four and a nine to four dot Dawson V underscore forty two. And I'll see you guys next time. See ya.